Okay, the countdown has been taken care of. Welcome, good evening, one and all, to Vidya's Chess Hub. And we are going to deal with an interesting tactical motif today, and that idea is known as the exposed king tactic. Now, what is this exposed king tactic? The king in these positions will be in the open, not under the blanket of their pawns, not protected by their pieces, so will be totally exposed. Either they will have no pawn cover, or that the king will be in the center of the board. More often than not, looks like it could be the middle or the end game. Yeah, late middle game or the starting of the end game. And we'll have to find the winning move. As usual, we are going to start by accepting some uh, welcome messages. Sagar was here and says, hi all. Jai is here. Hello, Jai. How are you, the moderator? Rayanch is here. Rayanch has chosen us uh, a nice greeting. Says, uh, uh, hi, chess mates. That's what he's saying. He's saying, hi, chess mates. I like that. That's actually a nice idea. Itesh is here, says, good evening, sir. Radesh is here. Radesh, stick around because we are also going to finalize the timing. When are the head-to-head, -head, uh, you know, going to be played and the timing is uh, decided. That's 555 onwards, but we'll decide which player, rather which pair plays tomorrow and which one on Friday. Meanwhile, Namish says it's crossed 1600, which is a great news. Uh, Namish says, uh, uh, and, and Namish is congratulated by all. Namish says, thank you. Namish is happy. There are ads here. Purvesh is here. Purvesh, good to see you on time. Vishen, stick around. Because I said that we are going to discuss when we are going to do the head-to-heads. We have two pairs of head-to-heads. So one pair will play on Thursday. The other pair will play on Friday. So please remember that it's not on Thursday, it's not only on Friday, it's on both the days. What we are going to decide is which pair shall play when. That's very important and that is why I want everybody to be extra, extra alert. All right. Uh, Arya Mahakar is also here. I think it's now time for us to go to the position. That's the first position for today. Exposed King is what we are studying. So, hello, Falak is, I believe, here. The new guys are also here. What's up with this? Uh, today, we will do the king in the open, is it not? The exposed king. Well, I have a great idea here. Oh, we can take this knight, and then when the king moves, we can go for the pawn push, and this pawn also can be pushed because our rook will be there in full support. That's a nice idea. That is a wonderful idea. Guys, let me know if you like this idea. I already like this idea. What do you think about it? Sure, right? Let's do that. Jack keep score as usual. Let's take this knight and that would be a check. Ooh, Black made a mistake here. Took the advanced pawn. And now I think this is very easy to spot. Come on now. This is a cakewalk. This is an absolute cakewalk. Knight takes f7. Surely now we have this particular fork idea and now we're winning. That's nice. Okay, next one is white to play. This is our second position. One out of one. That's absolutely the right thing. It is one out of one for sure. Now over here it is white to play. We have two rooks and a bishop. Well, so does our opponent. Keep typing your individual score as well. So we are at one out of one, but the individual score is also one out of one for most people. Okay. Hmm. Now, we are um, dealing, I think, with a position where we could have a checkmate. Correct me if I'm wrong. What about bishop check? You like that idea? The bishop h7 check. How many people say bishop h7 check? Let's say this bishop goes to h7, but there is this rook here and the king. And that doesn't look great, does it? Uh, if that doesn't look great, then is it uh, rook to d8 check? Will that help, sir? Rook d8 check. Exposed king also means that there could be checkmates, guys. Alert. Be very, very alert. What did I just say? If, the, if it's the exposed king, then there could be a checkmate. And here we have it. Sagar has probably found it out. He says, rook d8 check, king moves, rook d7 is check and mate. Really? 
Well, let's say, can the king not go into the shelter here? What say? Is something missing here? People like rook d8 check a lot. Itesh also likes that. But the main question is after rook d8 check and the king coming to g7 then, what happens next? If we give the rook check, this king f6, right? Did you think about that? I feel you should uh, probably consider that. This is f6 square. Very important. Now, Itesh has something to say. He says, rook d8 check, king f7, rook d d7 check, king f6, and then check me. And now, Namish also has some ideas. Says, rook d8 check, king b7, b7, b7 or g7? I think it should be b, b, g7, right? Guys, Make sure you type the coordinates correct. What's up with not typing the coordinates correctly? Rayansh initially said, Rook d8 check, king h7, g7, doesn't matter, he says. Uh, rook f8 check. Really? Or g8. And rook h8 is checkmate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So unclear. Absolutely not fair. Now something what Sagar said, rook d8 check, king f7, rook d d7 check, king f6, rook f6 checkmate. Now Sagar is making a point. See, that's what I said. If it's a checkmate, consider that f6 square, guys. So okay, let's start with this. So there's this rook check and king has moved to f7. But still there is f6 that uh, is always there. So the other rook also. By the way, let's do this checkmate here. I think this it will be checkmate here. The rook going here will be checkmate. Yeah. Now let's go back. The newcomers. This is not rook d d7. Some guys have typed this. Some guys have typed rook d d7. Okay, that's wrong. Both the rooks are on d. It's rook 1 d7. If Jay can show how it is done. Jay, make sure that you show everybody how it is. It's not rook d d7. It's rook 1 d7 that will be checkmate. Please, please be careful. Both the rooks are on d file. So you cannot say rook d d7. It's rook 1 d7 checkmate. And yes, uh, not checkmate, but later on, mate in two moves here. Yeah, Ayush Tavde doing the right thing there. Just pull the score for us. Next one is black to play. Okay, now exposed king. Now notice why this theme is so important. You must take full advantage of the fact that your opponent has left his king unsupported. Look at our king. That's no good as well. I mean, that's danger, right? The queen and the bishop. We are in some kind of a mess ourselves. <laughs> Let's be honest here. I feel we can go for a checkmate here. But what could be a Really cool idea of doing it. You think queen d5 check? Let me draw some arrows here. Do you like this move, queen d5 check? Or is it queen e6 check? Both are cool? No? What? What do you think about that? Let me know. It's queen d5 check. What's up? Queen d5, sure. Queen d3, oh, Itesh has a different take. Itesh says queen d3 check. d3, how is that possible? <laughs> how is that even possible? And Ayush also is like, yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay. They say don't come all the way to e4. Just stop at d3. Oh, Kavish also likes that. Okay, so let's see what they are saying here. They're saying queen d3 check. That's what they like. Then king goes to f4, queen e4 check. Then king g3 and queen g4 checkmate. Now means you like queen e6 check. Well, that's wrong coordinates. It's black to play. So let's give this check. Pull the king up. Let's give this check. And now this is checkmate. Oh, how cool was that checkmate? Guys, really tell me if you loved this checkmate. I personally lo loved this. What a cool checkmate that was. And Hitesh is quick to say, got three out of three here. He's cool, he's fast. 
Yeah, you can type uh, the official score. You can type your personal scores. Black to play here. Exposed king it is. But how? Ooh. Guys. Here we have this particular pawn up for grabs. Let me know if you like that idea. Queen takes g3 check. Is that a good idea? Queen takes g3 check. I think so. Queen takes g3 check, but the queen can block. Really? Yeah, sure. So, what are we going to do next? Itesh has an idea. So, it's queen g3 check. Okay. Queen g3 check. So, Itesh says queen takes g3. I think Itesh has forgotten to type that takes thing there. But I think it's queen takes g3 check. Hmm. I think Purvesh likes that idea. Purvesh says, okay, sure, we can do that. Let's take the pawn. He's going to block it with the queen for sure. Oh, Namish has a full statement about it. It says, queen takes g3 check. If queen block, we take uh, the pawn. And so the bishop or the king, we can give him a check and take the rook. Really? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Let's do this. Let's start with this. And now I think we have a very nice idea. We can exchange the queen and then we can win this bishop here. So let me let me do this. This queen takes queen is a check and then this bishop is up for grab. That's what probably people are saying here. Saurish also likes that idea. We took that pawn, no doubt about that. Queen d5 check. What? What queen d5 check? Type the coordinates correctly, guys. Yeah, so queen takes queen, I think, is a better idea. And we'll win the bishop now. The king was the defender of this bishop. Not anymore. White to play next one. Namish is so right about it. Namish is so right about it. It says destroying the defender. I like that idea. Grunt says his score is 4 out of 4. Itesh is also at 4 out of 4. Sagar says, my personal score is 3 out of 4. That's not bad at all. Try to be an 80% and around that mark. Namish says 4 out of 4. Encouraging signs. I wonder where Rayansh is. Jay, what's our official position? Radesh is also at 4 out of 4. Now here I think uh, a good idea is a rook check. Here you can say rook a e1 check. Notice that this bishop has this square covered. So I think this rook will be hanging. Namish likes that rook e1 idea. By the way, rook e1 will be wrong here. Which rook? Which rook? Ayush, our very own Ant-Man. Which rook will come on e1? Rook a e1, right? Rook a e1, right? Yeah, Namish and Ayush correcting themselves. Very nice. Look at everybody typing it here. Yeah? Oh, Rayanch, what's that? Rook E, A, E1, what's that? Abir also likes the idea. Let's give this check. Oh, he blocked it with the bishop. Let's take the bishop. And finally, oh, we can have this rook now. And if the king takes this rook, then we have this bishop. Now it should end. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, okay, no problem. The next one, please. This one is white to play, exposed king. The king is in very bad position here. Namish says 5 out of 5. Grant is 5 out of 5. Not bad at all. Radesh 5 out of 5. Arya Mahakal 5 out of 5. Wow, good. Good going, rising stars. Very good. Okay. So now, guys. We have Kavish also is at 5 out of 5. Dishen with an impossible score. 5 out of 2? How is that possible? It should be 2 out of 5, Dishen. I think you put it, put the numbers in the wrong places. It cannot be 5 out of 2. How can you get 5 out of 2? 
Abir is also at 5 out of 5. Now what's up with this? Now with this one you should remember that there is rook h5 check that is possible because of our rook and uh, the bishop's support. Now I don't know how Rayansh has calculated this but Rayansh says 4.75 out of 5. I have absolutely no idea how that is possible. You tell me how that is possible. Meanwhile, Itesh has a wonderful idea for us. It says rook h5 check is good. King g7 rook check. And then when the king moves away, we will use the other rook, he says. And then <clears throat> when the king moves away, our rook will be able to win the rook on h8. Rook takes f5. Ayush thinks will win the pawn. No, I don't think Ayush watch the answer. You are about to learn something special here. Let this rook give the check with the help of this bishop, okay? And now we will bring this rook in the game. Remember that the king is the only defender of this rook here. So when we give this check, now the rook is unsupported. We'll go ahead and take that. Bravo. Brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. How many people actually thought of that? Beautiful indeed. Very nice people. Impressive. White to play is the next position. Everything is going ultra smoothly so far. 6 out of 6 for Itesh. 6 out of 6 for Grant. Were you there, Grant, from the very first position? I doubt that. Destroying the defender idea was good because the king moved away and then we were able to win the rook on h8. Arya Mahakal is 6 out of 6. Saurish so joined in late, so he is saying it's 3 out of 6. Actually, for him, it will be 3 out of 3. He joined in late. Dishen again, impossible score. How can you get 6 out of 4? You can get 4 out of 6. And by the way, <laughs> your last comment and this comment doesn't match. Something that you need to check. Again, Rayansh with something that is impossible. 4.7. How do you, how do you calculate 4.7? How did you get that? He says Bishop E3 checkmate. How? What? <laughs> Harsh has the answer. Knight F7 check, King H7, and then Bishop D3. But Bishop D3 will it be made? So all are of the opinion that we give this check, king comes up and then bishop d3 check. Harsh, I'm impressed. Harsh, Koth, brilliant. I'm impressed with this. Uh, knight f7 check, king h7, bishop d3 check. Then e4, bishop takes e4. Bishop f5, bishop takes f5 is checkmate. So basically whatever our opponent will use to block it will have it as checkmate, is it not? Let's do that. Beautiful. Guys, what a checkmate that was. Whatever came in the path of blocking the check was taken and ultimately it was checkmate. Very, very brilliant indeed. Itesh says 7 out of 7 for him. White to play. This one is also cool. Here we have the queen and the two rooks versus queen, two rooks and a bishop. Guys, so we are down a material here. We have to make a note of that, okay? We have queen and two rooks. Our opponent has queen, two rooks and a bishop. How can we now make the most of this positional advantage that we have? At times, you can sacrifice even more material to get to the seventh rank. That's your big clue. That's your big clue. How can you get successfully to the seventh rank? Is there a way to get to the seventh rank? By a sacrifice or an exchange or something like that. Itesh has some idea. Itesh says, sir, rook takes f7 check, king takes f7 check, rook c7 check, king to f8, and queen g7 is checkmate. But what if the rook blocks the check, man? The rook can block the check. Are you are you just copying the answers? Because I have the same question for you then. You also think that is checkmate, but can the other rook not block the check? I've drawn it with a green arrow now. Rook takes f7. Then you give the rook check. The rook can block. You're copying each other. The other rook is there. Think about it. Dishen has tried. Dishen says, 
ट्रेन Have you paid some attention to that? Namish, we meanwhile with a big comment says, Rook takes f7 check, King takes f7, Rook c7 check, King f8, Queen g7 checkmate. But if Rook blocks, then we can equalize the position. Uh, so he says the same basically. So he says, let's go ahead and play Queen g7, and then it will be. Queen takes bishop. Arya Makar, you probably have not realized the discussion. We are talking about rook blocking it, man. So everybody seems to agree with the first idea. I think I also agree with that idea. So let's do this. Let's start this. And now the other rook will give this check. See, I told you. I told you the rook will block. I told you the rook will block. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. So now we can equalize the position. And I'll say this again. Uh, we have this huge past pawns. By the way, somebody, some senior, some rising star, type what is the meaning of a past pawn? What is a past pawn? When there are no enemy pawns to block, those pawns are called as past pawns. So our pawns on a two and b three are called past pawns. Uh, Kavish has some detailed answer. Guys, let me know if you are able to actually hear my voice because we are trying to get the stream back after that power fluctuation unnecessarily that happened. Yeah, let me know. If you are able to see things, let me know in the chat. Yes, they say they are able to hear me now. They can also see me now. Great. Okay, so seventy-seven percent. Let's say what? What's the what's the voting here? Uh, the voting is like seventy-seven percent said said no. Guys. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for the poll. Well, uh, let me know if you like that idea of having the poll. Okay, in between. Let me know. There was this power fluctuation, guys. Uh, by the way, now people say that they can hear. What I'm trying to do here is, I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to also set up the chat highlighter one more time. Okay, the chat highlighter, where we actually, you know, go ahead and. Have our chat messages because that's such a cool thing. We want that, right? We want that. Oh, there we have it. And what's the first chat that has gotten highlighted by Sagar Kedkar? What a cool polling that was. Okay, so we can, we can, we have now understood that we can use that. Yes, there was voting with the wrong spelling. Jay acknowledges that. I don't know. There was some power issue, and that's why maybe. Maybe that is why you were experiencing, or maybe are experiencing, some lag due to some power issue. I don't know, but let's see. 
let's continue with this and now let us start with our next position at hand Sagar already with the answer says queen takes h6 check looks like a great idea right surely looks like a great idea queen takes even Rayanch agrees with that says queen takes h6 check rook h7 queen takes f7 or f8 f7 or f8 guys I think what you're trying to do here hmm, okay come on I think what you're trying to do is to suggest this right if the queen can take the the other rook and I think if, if that is what you want to do, then uh, it's f8. What's about that? It's f8, guys. Not f7. Let me know if you wanted to say f8. People have said f7. But I think what they meant was clearly f8. Yeah, queen takes f8 checkmate. Yeah. They say not um, g7 checkmate. Now that doesn't work. So queen check. Oh, now what do you do? I like that. Whenever the computer plays something that is different to what you say, I love that. Purvesh with the wrong spelling says here. Purvesh, not H-E-A-R. It is H-E-R-E, -E, okay? Here, it's raining. H-E-R-E, -E, not H-E-A-R. So that spelling is not right. H-E-R-E, -E. here, it's raining. But nonetheless, it's a kid typing the message. Appreciate that, guys. Now what? King G at Sagar says, Sir, now we will give Rook G3 check. Itesh also thinks a Rook G3 check and it will be checkmate soon. Let's go for that. And now Queen takes G7 will be checkmate. Like Dishane said, but this is a variation. Try to get in both the lines when you do. Ooh, H-E-R-E is right. Dishane is correcting him. I like that. Next position. I don't know if uh, Jay still remembers the number. What's the score, guys? I forgot. What was the last score that we did? I don't quite remember. What was it, guys? Update by Rayan Shinamdar. Nice raining like medium to heavy, he says. Medium to heavy. What kind of rain is that? Medium to heavy? <laughs> guys, I think over here, this is the exposed king, but the rook has the seventh rank, and let's not forget the past pawn. How are you going to make this work? Already answers have started coming in. And Itesh says, it is bishop e2 check. And then, when the king moves, then what? No, bishop takes d3. Oh, winning the knight. Winning the knight. Okay. Winning the knight. Rook h1 check. Well, what, what is being said here is, Let's give this check. It's a fork. How many people like that idea? Itesh has said this. It is fork. Do you like Itesh's idea, everybody? Uh, good to know that uh, our new student, Abir, is at 7 out of 7. Itesh says, I'm a 9 out of 9. Okay. Hmm. At some places, it's raining heavily. Saurish likes that idea. Sir, Saurish also supports that. Says, Bishop e2 check, it's a fork. And I also like that idea. Let's win the bishop. I don't think that there is any other thing to do. Harshkot likes that idea. Oh, now a question. Quick question. Now, should we go ahead and take the knight? Because our rook is hanging. Should we give the rook g2 check first? Rayansh, now, now would you still say that we have to take the knight? No, now Itesh says, no, wait, sir, before we take that knight, that knight is free. But Itesh says, wait, now we cannot take that knight, our rook is hanging. Sagar, don't be in a rush here, okay? Rook g2 check, most of you are saying it right. Even Saurish says, first rook g2 check should come. That's right. That's right. And now let's take this knight. Oh, beautiful. Well done, guys. Well done. Pooja ma'am is in Pune and in Pune it's not raining and by the way, Pooja ma'am correct me if I'm wrong, I think when you say Pune, you are in Kothrud, right? Let me know. Pooja ma'am, I think you are in Kothrud area. If I mean if some other area, let me know. But I think that's where your son stays. So now we are talking about Kothrud area, I think, where you're saying that there is no rain. Guys, official, in Pune, it's not raining. Ooh, 
Okay. Uh, personal scores, people are doing well. Oh, Pooja ma'am says correct. Pooja ma'am says yeah. So I know this right. This is Kothrud area. Yeah. Very good. Okay. No rains. Enjoy. <laughs> if there is no rain, uh, you can do outside work without the brawly. Guys, what do you mean by brawly? B R O W L Y. That's umbrella, right? That's a better word for umbrella, right? Brawly. Somebody type that spelling. I'm, I'm going to teach you a good word here. People will keep saying umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. You can use the word brawly. B R O W L Y. Now, for this one, Itesh has a quick answer. It says Rook H3 check and then Rook C G3 check. And then we will give one more check, which is actually checkmate. Okay. Savarish, no problem. Savarish says I got disconnected, so one point less. No problem. Okay, so rook check. And then the other rook check. And then checkmate. No, not checkmate, guys. How, how did you think that this is checkmate? Hang on here, guys. Isn't there a king to... Oh, yeah, there's bishop there. There's this rook here. There is this pawn here. Well, this is one of those checkmates that doesn't look like checkmate, right? Let me know, guys. This is a kind of checkmate that doesn't look like a checkmate, but it is a freaking checkmate. <laughs> it doesn't look like a checkmate, but it is checkmate. Okay, done that. Kavish also thought the same. 11 out of 11. Rayan says, sure, sir, it does look like that. I mean, it doesn't look like checkmate, but it is checkmate. Okay. What's up with this? It's black to play, exposed king, not a single pawn around the king, nothing, just the rook. Boy, this is a big trouble for uh, uh, white here. Look at this bishop that can come into action here. Watch that. And now Abir is saying that uh, in his area, it's started to rain a little bit. Okay. Nobody typed the spelling I asked. Jay, what's up? Type that. Being a senior, I thought you or Rayanch will do that. Brawly. B-R-O-L-L-Y. Man, that's a good word for umbrella. Just, a, just an additional terminology. I mean, everybody knows umbrella, but then brawly is, again, that will add to your vocab. Brawly. B-R-O-L-L-Y. What are people typing here? Saurish is right. Namish is right. Some people are typing some other word. <laughs> Rolly? What is Rolly? I said Rolly. B R O L L Y. That's the correct spelling you see on the screen. And somebody, please use a capital B. Saurish does that. Capital B, man. Arya Mahakar also does this right. So please remember, I have taught you another word for umbrella. Nice. Okay, so can we start here with the bishop check? I think we can. Really? Yeah, we can. And Pooja ma'am likes that word. Says a sweeter than umbrella. And being now in Pune, oh yeah, sure. Shabda Samuha. Yeah, you would love that. Vocabulary, new word. Yeah, brawly. Sure. Okay. Harish also has learned the new word. Talking of Pune, he wants to join the Indian Army. He would also be there at, the, at, at NDA. Sure, right, Harsh? You're interested. Sure. Good. Okay, so Bishop check. How many people like that idea? Itesh likes that idea. Says Bishop E4 check. Let's start with that. Kavish likes that idea. Says Bishop E4 check. Okay, let's do that. Bishop E4 check. Okay, that, okay, we'll take that. Okay, we'll take the Queen as well. There's no point doing anything else. Let me show you why there was no point doing anything else. After we give that Bishop check, there was no point blocking the check with the rook because then queen takes rook was simply checkmate. That's why he did what he did, okay? Why to play? Why to play in the next position? Okay. Exposed king. Can we drive the king to some place where we can win some material? At the moment, by the way, someone needs to type this. That when the knight is uh, like at this distance from the king, like two squares away diagonally, that's the longest route for the knight. 
that is the longest route for the night two squares diagonally away two squares diagonally away so any time you would see with this uh, an end game you try to put your king when it when it comes to the placement or the distance with the knight it's two squares away diagonally that's when you have this uh, longest route for the knight now it will be very difficult for the knight to check the black king imagine the route the knight will have to take let's make up some route okay uh, let's say the knight goes here uh, then goes where then goes here and then gives a check right so it's not immediately checked so that means that the knight cannot give a check and a fork idea is not imminent rook check and then uh, knight e5 check will be a fork. Really? You think it's a good idea? So rook check first. I think I like that idea as well. Oh no! Who said that rook check move? Namish! Namish got us all wrong here. Rook check. And got it all wrong. Very bad. No! Why did I listen? Why? Rook takes f7 is right, right? Yeah, not rook check. We'll take the take here and then that's a fall. And that's what people are suggesting. That's what people are suggesting. Let us attribute this to the reconnecting and the sad net connection today that we are getting. Let's attribute that to that. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, fine. No problem, guys. Don't overreact. Uh, so, Rish is like, no. And there are like a million O's. What about this one, guys? Discovered check here. Let's talk about this idea of the, the queen check, the rook blocking it, and the pawn moves and gives a discovered check. How many people like that idea? The queen check. The rook would block it, that's a force move, there's nothing to think about it. And the pawn moves, and then we have a discovered check with the bishop. Ooh, isn't that great? Rayan says, heavy raid, damn heavy, he says. Oh, okay. Now, a question to you. Are we going to take that rook? Big question, guys. Should we take that rook in this position? I'm going to wait here a little bit. Guys, should we take that rook as I've said or I've shown on the board? Or is there a better move? Think about it, guys. This is important. Should the bishop take the rook? Because we are getting the rook. Should we take the rook or is there a better move in this position? Very good. People are alert. Everybody is alert. Even Harsh is alert. Wow, Harsh Khot. That is brilliant. Harsh Khot. That is super. Abir Bere also. Fantastic. People are right about it. They say no need to take the Rook. The Rook is what we call absolutely pinned. So here if we go with the Queen and deliver this check, it's not just check but it's actually checkmate. Oh, brilliant guys. You all deserve a big thumbs up. After that last one that we got wrong, uh, king up is better than rook up. Line by Namish, king up is better than rook up. I like that line. <laughs> I like that line. Now next one is white to play. Guys, we are dealing with the idea of exposed king today. And after this position, I think we should discuss who will play tomorrow and which pair will play on Friday. Okay. We'll discuss it after this position. So I need somebody to type that again. Jay, I wonder if he is here because he's not seen in the chat for long. I think Itesh can do the typing then if Jay is not here. It's been a long while since Jay typed the line. Maybe he's disconnected or something. Quick answer says bishop at 6 check. Itesh is the answer. Says bishop at 6 check. 
then king and then rook is checkmate and again one of those positions where it doesn't look like checkmate right but what a checkmate guys this is the opera checkmate right this is the opera checkmate right sure you like that it's opera checkmate no doubt about that 15 out of 15 that's good and now we will discuss about who will play tomorrow okay so radhesh itesh you can type the names of the pairing okay type both the pairings please itesh go ahead and type both the pairings and then we will assign the day come on guys type the pairings with the full name and stuff please so it says first one was radhesh versus rayansh that's the first pair now radhesh versus rayansh you will play tomorrow okay radhesh you will play tomorrow radhesh versus rayansh will play tomorrow please say yes to that radhesh type yes rayansh type yes please go ahead and do that this pair is playing tomorrow this shane versus arya you are playing on friday you also need to confirm that so itesh just type that line once please radhesh versus rayansh you are going to play tomorrow so this pair on the screen that you see right now radhesh versus rayansh tomorrow 555 not 6 o'clock radhesh stop giving excuse about your classes tomorrow please be here 5 minutes earlier and now radhesh says yes 555 not 6 o'clock 555 please remember that itesh with the wrong spelling of tomorrow itesh now you are my student for english as well so i'll have to correct you t o m o r r o w is it is a gujarati word tomorrow what's that have you typed tomorrow so tomorrow spelling oh wrong che so it's not tomorrow it's tomorrow t o m o double r o w single m is right double r is right but it's t o m o man so radesh shreyansh you play tomorrow and uh, dishen versus arya you will play on friday point noted okay we have gotten yes from radesh we have also gotten yes from rayansh see rayansh also typed yes and radesh also has typed yes and note that it is 555 the start not 6 o'clock dishen type the uh, itesh type that as well itesh go ahead and type that and yes you can ask each other the id you can do that on our telegram channel as well but do it in the chat also just type your ids so that you know you can check each other's rating and the player with the higher rating will challenge the player with the lower rating you know the system now you saw the head to head earlier everybody now knows how to do that so please ask each other's id and uh, yes i am just as excited as you are by the way arya stacked his id here okay very important everybody will get a chance don't worry about it everybody will get a chance these guys are getting the chance this week four players got the chance last time again those who don't get, did not get the chance yet again there is the next week don't worry about it okay this chain dash 1 it's not underscore okay it is a dash radesh rayans you also type your id here before we go back to our tactical positions we have 15 minutes let's try to get 10 positions more we got one wrong please remember that so radesh type your id rayans type your id now you should go ahead and check on leeches your blitz ratings itesh you can go ahead and type it that the start is 555 and the time control is 3 plus 2 do that and uh, yes of course we will do a poll also like who will win tomorrow or something like that but first go ahead and type your ids tomorrow it's important okay nice the poll idea was good man so oh, nice i wish i could show you the poll thing 
So Radesh, type the ID here. Don't waste our time. Type the ID in right now. Itesh, thank you so much. Itesh doing the right thing. 5.55, you have to start the game. Not 6 o'clock, 5 minutes earlier. Time control is 3 plus 2. You use a rematch option to do the issue the challenges. Radesh, type the ID here in the chat right now so that people know. Rayansh, you also should go ahead and type your ID right now so that Radesh would also know what your ID is. It's a good idea to exchange IDs. Arya has done that. Dishen has already done that. Super. Brilliant. And only after that, we can go ahead and do our tactics. I think Rayansh, your ID, what was your ID? Thanks, Itesh, for doing all the typing in Jay's absence. Very soon, I can make you also the moderator now, by the way. Surely. Remember, Itesh has done all the typing very nicely, okay? Don't worry, Arya, if the rating difference between you and uh, Dishen is a lot, don't worry. This will be a good experience for you, Arya. Because Dishen is working hard, allow him that difference. Come on, anything below 1000, don't consider that. Let him play. He's a new, uh, fairly, uh, come on, a kid, uh, let, let, him, let him do it. I'm still waiting for the guys to type the message about their ID. Radesh, type your ID here. And Rayans, you also type your ID. Otherwise, I'm not uh, showing your games and nobody will care for your head to head. Don't take unnecessarily long time. All I want is you to type the ID here. Just do it quickly. Radesh and Rayansh, type your ID in the chat. Fast. We don't have time to waste. I want to go to the tactics. We now have only about 10 to 12 minutes. Rayansh, type your ID. The one with which you intend to play, of course. If you have two IDs, you must make sure that you type the correct one with which you intend to play. It is, has done a super job. I mean, incredible. He's typed everything. And uh, he actually has done the job of a moderator. We are missing out on Jay, but Itesh is doing the job. Uh, let's give these guys three more minutes, okay? Let's give these guys three more minutes. If Ray, Radesh and Rayansh don't type their IDs in the next three minutes, then we will change. Dishen and Arya, you will play tomorrow. Wait for another three minutes. If they don't do what I've asked, then we'll cancel their game for tomorrow. You will play tomorrow. Okay? I just want them to type the ID here in the chat. That's taking like 100 years for them to do that. This is not acceptable. <laughs> so don't worry. Let's give them three more minutes. Yes, 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 yes. You can leave. Why are you leaving early, by the way? Abir, we have some more positions to go. There are still 10 minutes. Oh, finally, Radesh with the ID. Very good. So, Radesh, wait now for Rayansh to type the ID. Rayansh, I want you to type the ID, man. Good. Otherwise, I was going to, you know, cancel your game. Now, Radesh has typed it correctly. So, good, Radesh. Good work. Rayansh. Now you can just do the typing. You are saved by Radesh. He has done the typing. So let's see if Rayansh can do the typing. Rayansh, type your ID. He says I had typed my early ID earlier as well. Really? But it is good that you typed it again. I missed that. Sorry if I missed that typing. So did Rayansh also type his ID? Anybody else who is aware of Rayansh ID can do that. Did I miss Rayansh ID as well? Can That can happen. If that happened, let me know guys. Rayansh's ID, that's what I want, okay? Last minute or maybe two minutes. Then we'll go back to the tactics, guys. Somebody, if you know Rayansh's ID, oh, Sagar has done the job. Rayansh's ID is Rayansh21. Yeah, even Namish did that. But there is no forward slash. So, Radesh, make a note of this. It is Rayansh21. People know that. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. 
So now Radesh, because you typed it, you are playing tomorrow. Dishen and Arya, stick to your uh, plan. You are playing on Friday. Okay. Thank you so much. That's it. Done. Tomorrow, Radesh and Rayanj and Dishen and Arya Sonic. Oh, Itesh has done the work for all four. How nice is that? How cool is that? That is fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, now let's go back to the positions. Back to our uh, games, guys. Uh, rather, our positions. We are dealing with the exposed king positions. This is black to play. Again, we have got good advanced pawns here. I think we can give this rook away. Can we take the pawn, guys? Can we take the pawn and let him have our rook? Because we can then promote the pawn. Itesh remembers his score as well. Dishen is uh, Dishen dash one, okay. Itesh likes that idea. B takes A2, okay, likes that idea, okay. And then the pawn can promote, right? That should be the idea. The pawn can promote. It's not bishop takes A2. I think it's B takes A2. Yeah, we lost the rook, but hey, we can promote now. That's right. And now the computer wants us to play one more time. So let's give a check. Can we give a check here? Yeah, we can give the check, right? Why does the computer want us to play again? Is there a fork idea? The computer wants us to play something that gives us a fork or something like that. I don't know. So shall we push the pawn or shall we give the check? I mean, anything is winning. I don't clearly understand why the computer wants us to make the move. Yes, because we otherwise will be checkmated. Guys, Namish. Very good. Saurish is alert. Namish is alert. Very nice. Or it will be checkmate. We will be checkmated. I so like the rising stars. This will be checkmate, guys. We will be checkmated. Look at the pawns. <laughs> so we will be checkmated. Very good, Namish. You have made up for that threat. We have a checkmate threat. I like that. Kavish is right. Namish is right. Fantastic. And that's why they want us to move the king. Brilliant. But can we first give the queen check? We can give the queen check also, right? Can we give the queen check? Or the king will start, you know, coming uh, towards our king, is it not? We don't really want that, do we? Point. Point noted. Guys, then that is why I want to ask you a question. Because this pawn is a big time passed pawn. So just if we move the king, if we just move the king, then the pawn will advance. We have to do something about that. Come on. We have to do something about that. And mind you, there could be a time when we will probably run out of checks ourselves. So let's see, guys, we need to plan this. If we give this check and the king goes up here, What's the next check we can issue after that? Do we have a check after that? No. That is why this position is awesome. So all of us thought it was so easy. We'll take the pawn. Uh, then the rook will be taken and then we can promote to a queen. But we have some serious checkmate threat here. What can we do now? And there is only one check possible. Itesh likes the queen a2 check idea. And I also like that idea. I'm going to do that. Oh, the computer just stopped it there. Come on. I was thinking maybe what will happen after this one. So we just move the queen, uh, king to safety. That's it. Okay, fine. But uh, this was a good position. I'm sure you enjoyed this, guys. Nonetheless, now, let's go ahead and deal with the next one. We have five minutes more. White to play. Do we have a check? The knight is under attack. Saurish is at 12 out of 16. Remember, he joined late. So technically, I think he is 13 out of 12 out of 14. Yeah, 12 out of 14 or maybe 12 out of 13, maybe. 
Okay, Itesh likes knight g6 idea. Let's attack the rook. Itesh says let's attack the rook. Like that. And now, if we play this, and then the rook moves over here to safe uh, to safety, uh, we have this knight fork. Guys, look at that. And if the rook moves someplace else, then we have this rook check on c7, and then we win the bishop. Well, that's a nice idea. Let's do that. Now we have the fork. Guys, let me show you what would have happened. Had the rook moved someplace else, then we would have had this. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, next one, please. This is black to play. It's a really good idea. Radesh is at 16 out of 16. Itesh says 17 out of 17. Guys, losing a track of how many positions we did. Yes, personal score for Sagar says 16 out of 17. Guys, I would like to believe we have done 17 positions. Maybe he is saying 16 because he joined late. And now this is black to play. No problem. So rook check. Oh. Guys, look at this. It's rook check. King goes here. Yeah. Bishop check. King moves and rook checkmate. Whoa! Did you like that idea? Guys, look at the arrows. The rook check, the bishop check, the rook check, and what a checkmate this is. What a checkmate this is. Is it a checkmate, guys? Forget about the four. Is it a checkmate? Look at the pattern I have shown here. The rook check, the king moves, the bishop check, the king moves and then the rook check made. Why go for the fork? Guys, why go for bishop c7 fork? Isn't that checkmate? That is something awesome here. And Namish totally loved that idea so much that the message is full, uh, you know, filled the screen here. And, uh, well, Abir is right. The opera mate. O-P-E-R-A. Very good, Abir. Very good student, Abir Bere. That is just fantastic, man. That is fantastic. And Itesh also likes the same idea. Says, rook check. The bishop check. Look at that. We had a four. And this is just cool checkmate or what? Mind you, look at the way the bishop supports the rook. It is just checkmate. At the start, let me tell you, over here, I think, people were tempted by this fork. And it does look tempting. Come on. You, you're going to get the rook for the bishop. It looks tempting. But what a cool checkmate that was. Notice the pattern here, okay? It's like the rook check. Then this is bishop check. This is rook check, which is also known as the opera checkmate. Oh boy, this is fantastic. This is brilliant. I like that. Next position, please. Last position for today, guys. You can type the score and then Tata Bye Bye messages. Remember, Rayansh and Radhesh, you are playing tomorrow. Again, in the group, you can put the uh, their IDs. Guys, everybody can put their IDs there in our WhatsApp, not uh, WhatsApp, but Telegram group. Not the channel, on the Telegram group. And remember that the game should start at 5.55, like Itesh has already conveyed. Last position. Okay, so queen takes e6 check. And now we have... What do we have now? That's it. What do we have now? <laughs> Guys, why does the computer want us to play even now? Any idea? Computer still wants us to play. What? Guys, bishop takes b8. What? What? Guys, we have the bishop here, right? Bishop, oh, this check, yeah. And then the queen. Fantastic. Well done. Digitally, 7 o'clock. We'll stop for now. We'll see you tomorrow for the head-to-head -head clash. It is dot 7 o'clock. Digitally, 7 o'clock. Thank you so much. We'll meet tomorrow for the head-to-head -to -head class. 5.55 start. Put that on the Telegram channel. Bye-bye.